キースメン、ジャスキースメン。Everybody, it's Marsh Monkey here. Let's get my Finding Dory movie review. Now, before we get started, warning there is spoilers in this review. I'm going to be talking all about spoilers from the movie because I love this movie. Oh my gosh. This movie is so good. Shut up and take my money. Give me Finding Dory. Marlin, like, give me a third movie. Like, shut up and take my money, Disney. Shut up and take my money. I love this movie. I mean, this movie is so good. I would sit two and a half hours for another one. Like, I would sit for, I would sit for eight hours for just finding everything. Like, finding Bailey, finding, like,、uh, Destiny, finding Hank. I would sit there for, like, all the movies. It would just be so good. So, this movie, let's talk about it. So, why do I love this so much? Now we're gonna get into my general review first, then we're gonna go into my highlights of what I loved about the movie and what I didn't like. So let us get into this. So, this movie, generally, it's great. It's a Disney Pixar art. It's like a work of art for Disney and Pixar. I mean, this movie is just so good. Disney Pixar, they succeed every time, inside out. They succeeded with,、uh, even though I didn't love Monsters University, they still succeeded with it. I mean, they got this movie. So, Disney and Pixar are just rocking it right now with movies. Make more. Like, where is, where is Incredibles 2? 2019? No. Give it 2017,、like, people.、Um, but anyway, they are so good. I'm loving everything about them right now. I mean, they, they're just killing it and dominating. So let's talk about it. So, Finding Dory, you know, I was kind of worried about going into this movie because I heard, it, you know, it wasn't as good as the first one. There was, thing, there was problems. And there are problems for this movie, but it's not like Alice through the Looking Glass, right? Like, that's like a big no for Disney. But when they go Disney Pixar, that's when you know, that, that's where you roll out the red carpet because this movie, it's just, it's great. Again, there are a few problems, but it's not a tragedy. It's just like there, you know? It's just a few tweaks that are really just. Nitpicking, I guess, but it's just kind of, it's just, it's, just, it's so good.、Um, let's, let's just talk about it. So, the movie starts out, like, we just get right into the action. I mean, of course, they have their、uh, pre short Piper, which was really great. You know, Disney and Pixar are doing those. They did the Volcano one for Inside Out, so they do those two to get you warmed up,、uh, and then they give you the movie. So, I love the beginning of the movie, just starting out with young, adorable Dory. I mean, can I have that fish? Can I have young Dory for life? Can I be young Dory, please?、Um, but yeah, it was so good. I enjoyed every minute of seeing young Dory in this movie. I mean, Nemo. Who, who's Nemo? Like, what the heck? That, that's not the cutest fish in the world. Dory. Young Dory is the most adorable fish ever. I just loved her so much. It was so great to see her with her like, big fat cheeks and her like, big old eyes. And it just, oh, it was so good.、Um, she made me laugh. She made me almost cry. I mean, that's the great thing about this movie is that it is. Hilarious! This movie is so funny, but at the same time, it's so sad because you can see everything. Like, we're gonna get into a little bit of spoilers now. But yeah, the story starts out with, of course, Dory losing her way, and it kind of explains to you how Dory ended up meeting Marlin, because they did the whole flashback sequence, so I like that as well.、Um, and we see that. But I really like how it progresses and really shows you each part of the puzzle of how, you know, how Dory is gonna get back to her parents. And it shows you each part of the puzzle perfectly, by the way. And so I really liked seeing that as well.、Um, you know, it was really sad. There w a s parts of this movie where I almost cried, where Dory get, goes missing, where she goes into the undertow and goes all the way out to the ocean.、Uh, there's the part where she's on her own, like without anybody in the whole world. Like, that's crazy. And then, you know, where she meets with her parents again, when she finds her parents. It's also sad. There are things that are going to tug at your heartstrings in this movie that is crazy. I mean, it's just almost, it almost made me cry. Although, like, Seriously.、Um, and then also, we have some stuff that are really hilarious. We meet some new characters like Hank.、Um, I love Hank. I think he's a great addition.、Um, he's so fun. I mean, him and Dory made a great team. Just like Dory and Marlin make a great team. It's so fun to see her paired up with different characters. So that was really great too. We have Bailey, who is the. Oh, I can't remember what he is. He's like the. He's not a dolphin, but he's like some kind. It's like a whale thing. I don't know. But he has the echolocation. We meet him. He was great too. I loved him, you know, for finding out his echolocation. The actor who plays him, I can't remember his name, but he's Phil Dumpy off of Modern Family. I love that actor. I mean, I loved him in、uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I love him here. I love him in everything. Like, he's just so good at、uh, voice acting. And then we also meet、uh, Destiny, who is the whale shark, if I'm correct. Um, loved her as well. That was just amazing. All the characters, all the new characters are great. And then we, even if we meet up with the other characters like the Sting,、uh, Mr. Mr. Ray, 
away. We meet up with him again, Crush and Squirt. We see them again. We don't see Gil or Peach or any of the other uh, favorites from the uh, hit Finding Nemo, uh, unfortunately. But we might see them in the future. Who knows for sure? I mean, you know, if they make, decide to make another one, maybe they'll throw them in. Who knows? Because um, I kind of want to see what happened to them by the, the, the end credit scene or whatever from Finding Nemo. Kind of want to see what happened, but oh well. Uh, and then, you know, so there are new characters in this movie that are really great. You know, Nemo, uh, sorry, not Nemo, Dory's parents, also really great. I loved every new character that we got. It was just one thing after another. So good. And there are some Easter eggs. There, you know, Marlon and Dory talking about their adventures from the first movie, which is, like, years ago. That movie came out so long ago. Um, and there's also, you know, some Easter eggs that are actual, literal Easter eggs. Like, there's a photo of Darla from the first movie in the, uh, um quarantine area. So you can see that as well. So there are actually literal Easter eggs and just, you know, little hints to the first movie that were from lo so long ago. And there is nostalgia from this movie. You will remember things from your childhood or from your early, early childhood, like me, that is just so iconic that they finally brought back for you and for new viewers because there's so many young ki uh, children in the theater when we went to see it. And I'm just like, that that's what they're going to see. They're, that's their, their beginning. Um, this is my second go around, guys. But that's their beginning, so I'm really glad that they got to experience a, a movie that has fine crafting that was, you know, just as good the second time around for our, us older viewers. Because there was also older viewers there, too. So I think that that's just another great thing about Finding uh, Dory that was just as great as Finding Nemo. But there are still problems. Now, what are these problems? Well, the movie, in some places, is kind of rushed. They do rush into this, like, so fast. It's like an adventure. It's like right off the beat. Like right, like right, or I guess right off the bat. Right off the bat, it just goes sh like head on. It's so crazy. But there are also times where, you know, they slow it down for the emotion. Like, you know, all the sad parts with Dory and the young Dory and all that. They slow it down. So it's not too crazy. It's not like too rushed. Um, but, you know, there are parts of it that are a little rushed. So it's not that big of a deal. And then also, you know, another problem that I've noticed is that it kind of gets a little crazy, you know, sometimes with Dory being the main star. I understand. But... She did so well in the first movie after, you know, Sid P. Sherman, Sid, you know, Sydney 2, Wildy, something, whatever. Um, P. Sherman, 42, Wildy, Way. Ah, got it, Sydney. Got it, I got it, that one. Um, but anyway, so there are times where she remembered things in the first movie and she got good at it, and then this one is kind of just like, where did that go? So, you know, so she does forget a lot in this movie, and they make a huge deal out of it. So I guess that's also a little, you know, a teensy bit annoying, but there's so many great things like Hank and all the other scenes with the new characters and Marlon and Nemo. That kind of helped balance it out. So that's also a, a problem, but I feel like it fixed itself within the movie uh, during the few final parts of the movie. And this movie is beautiful. This is a beautiful movie, and I definitely think it was a better animation style than the first one, which is hard to beat because that first movie was so beautiful as well. So overall, there are great things about this. Now let's get into my highlights, um, you know, and then I'm going to give my overall rating. So the highlights of this movie are, of course, seeing young, adorable Dory. Duh. And then we'll also see Marlon and Nemo kind of bond and stuff like that. That was really nice as well. Kind of see them going after Dory this time. That was really great. Bailey and uh, Destiny, so fun together. I love their pairing. Like, everything with their scenes were great. Hank and Dory scenes were amazing. Um, and it was just really fun seeing it. So overall, those were some of my highlights of the movie. I think it's great. Overall, for the rating... This movie, I don't know. I think I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I think it was Civil War. Civil War and Finding Doria. I think I'd both give it a 9 out of 10. Um, if you guys have been seeing X-Men Apocalypse, I gave that an 8.5. Alice in Wonderland, I think I'd give that like a 7. Uh, and then you know, Batman v Superman, 8.5. So there's just really great movies this time around. I gave Ratchet and Clank a 6, but that's just because... No. Um, you guys can go check out all my reviews for all those movies in the links up above. But overall, this is a great movie. What did you guys think of it? Comment down below. Do you like this movie? Do you think it is a huge, you know, good go-around like I did? Do you think it's a great go-around for the second time? Uh, do you think it can live up to Finding Nemo? And what do you guys think about Disney Pixar other sequels that are coming up, like The Incredibles 2? Uh, you know, so what do you guys think about that? Comment down below. Links in there to my other movie reviews. Links in there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, vlog channel, and gaming channel. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye. <sighs> oh! Ah! Don't... <laughs> Dory! Oh! <laughs> hey, wait up! <laughs>